Uh, welcome friends in our SSIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to in your package. So basically expression terms allow us to change a variable value at a runtime which was not possible in prior version of SSIS 2012. If you want to do uh, do some changes at a runtime in your packet definitely you are going to use a script task but right now there is no need to use a script task yeah. we are going to show you how you can use this task in your package support that you need to create a package uh, to load the data into your database but there is some condition like as if your processing date is matching with your load date definitely the data should be loaded into your table otherwise you need to send an alert to your development team so here we are going to create some variables so basically I have already created three variables number one is, is validate it should be boolean and check the if the current date is matching your load date then definitely we are going to load this data into our database so here we are going to just drag and drop the expression task from the toolbox over here and in this uh, expression ta uh, uh, task what we are going to do here we are going to apply some conditional logic just right click it and go to the edit property here because we need to set our boolean value and the value comes from and we are saying that if if our current date is matching with our load date definitely we are going to uh, matching with load date definitely what we are going to do here we are going to load the data, data into our database okay and have you evaluated this expression okay now what are we going to do here we are going to you to skip task uh, instead of any you know, data data flow data flow task because we are going to show you how it is work only so we have a skip task it is saying for valid validate another is saying for the invalidate okay invalid date okay and what we are going to do here we are going to <coughs> connect with this precedent constants and here what we are going to do here for validate we are going to evaluate expression evolution expression is constant and saying on success if we are saying that if equal to true that means that is valid okay same here what we are going to do here edit and evolution operation and on success we are saying if it is false that means dates are not matching with each other then this task should be run okay now we are going to add this validate script task and go to the edit script now you can see a separate project window open here 
in this separate project window we are going to show the message box to show because this is a demo so here we are using script task to show the how the expression task work okay so this is a validate valid valid date for processing okay just save the project build the project and close this build the project and close this project okay now click on ok button same thing we are going to do for invalidates so right click and go to the edit and click on edit script to open a separate project window now you can see a separate project window is open here here we are saying that invalid invalid dates invalid date okay same here we are going to save this project build this project and also close this project okay now click on ok button on script edit task editor for invalidates now you can see we did all the things which are required to run our package here now first of all i am going to show you the variable value here again now you can see <coughs> this is the our boolean variable to check if both dates are matching or not if matching then validate date task will execute if not matching then invalidate task will execute a script task will execute and show the message now uh, one more time we are going to back our variables now you can see that we have passing the same dates so as per our program validates script task should be run today now we are going to execute our package now you can see and that this is a valid date for processing so it is going to be run here so you can see the this is the expression task which is going to check your expression at runtime right now i am going back and variable section what we am i am going to do i am going to change the hd date as 14th okay now as, as of now it should be run in validates so in this case skip task validate processing will not run but your team will get a alert if you, you are using any send mail task so i am going to run it again before running i am going to show you the variables again now you can see both dates are different to each other now i am going to execute the package now you can see the invalid date message is appearing on the screen so it is very easy to use a expression task in your package to meet the business requirement and uh, avoid any scripting coding so please subscribe my channel on youtube for more videos on ssis ssrs sql server tsql data warehouse azure data modeling thank you for watching us